the mighty King Aridan of Lanor himself. Uh, that moistened by his own blood. Uh, you're looking so great, your highness, even with your guts all around you. I have no desire to speak with you. Or if you come to end it. It's not too late, your majesty. Still the gods of old would become you on one word, and the blade would be eased on you be healed. Get your poisoned tongue out of my ear, mage. Rune is ruled by the eyes of Vlanor, and it's on me to decide which destinies I choose from my people. Yet you lead them well into another dimension, your highness. Now they will not die in fight against the lords of the Dragonborn, but just slaughter to death. Like the princesses, you just fortify a whole realm for a better world what will not come. What are two lives compared to the thousands of dead on the bloodfields if it's not coming? May it be a trade of the Daedra, but it will end that endless battles and we will ride history. Do not really believe that the Dragonborn will take this down. They will pour you into the entirety of oblivion and the Aedra will rule. Nothing will change. You should take the blade of the goddess and throw that dragon junk back into the abyss where it came from. One will remember, Masajun, and follow me. And your anger proves your fear. Let decades, centuries, millenniums pass, and one day a mighty one will come and follow me. And you underestimate the call of the blade, Majesty. Namaira reaches out of the dark for the living, and so will the blade. You may be bury a priest alive, but do not underestimate the force of the goddess you betrayed here. It will call out of the darkness, it will scream to be brought back out of oblivion's eternity, and then Ardan of Lanor, someone else will take her place in oblivion's eternity. <laughs>